welcome to Lessons in Love. Can we start our day with our Good Morning God song? Here we go. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Awesome job. Hello, my name is Mrs. Taylor, and I'm here today to tell you a special story. This story is from a Bible that I just got recently, and it is called Growing in God's Love, a Story Bible. The story we're gonna learn about today is called The Good Samaritan, and the story title is The Good Neighbor. So boys and girls, do you know who your neighbor is? Is it the person that lives next door to you? Is it the person that lives down the street from you? What about the person that goes to your school and isn't actually on your street? What about somebody that lives on the other side of town? What about someone that lives on another part of the world? Are those all your neighbors? Well, God thinks everyone is your neighbor. So we're gonna learn what God tells us to do with our neighbors. Jesus told a story about what it means to be a good neighbor, even to people you don't know. In the time of Jesus, the Samaritans and the Jews did not like each other at all. Jesus was a Jew, and one day he told this story about a Samaritan and what happened to him. Wherever Jesus went, people came to listen to his teaching and to ask questions. One day, a lawyer came to Jesus with an important question. Teacher, he says, the law says that we must love our neighbor the way we love ourselves. That's right, Jesus replied. Who is my neighbor? asked the lawyer. Jesus answered the question with a story, a special story called a parable. To tell my story, I'm going to use some story characters. So we're going to pretend like this brown piece of felt is a road, and we're gonna put this man here, who was a traveler, who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. So one day, a traveler was walking down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho, and two robbers came and took all his money and they hurt him and they left him on the ground hurt badly and they ran away with the money the man was very hurt and he couldn't get up he needed someone to help him after a while he heard someone coming it was a priest thank goodness the traveler thought i'm saved but guess what the priest walked by on the other side he was worried that the robbers would come back and hurt him. Then some more time passed and someone else came along the road. This time it was a Levite. This Levite was also a religious leader and so surely this person would help him. But nope, he crossed to the other side of the road and he left the man sitting there on the ground. A third time the injured man heard someone coming. This time it was someone coming that lived in Samaria on the way to Jerusalem. Oh no, thought the man. This man is from Samaria. It's, he won't help me, we aren't neighbors. But the Samaritan did stop. He helped the man stand up, he bandaged his wounds, and he helped him. He took him on his donkey and carried him to a friend's house. Oops. He gave the people money to look after the traveler until he was well. Jesus asked who was a neighbor to the traveler that was attacked by robbers. Do you think it was the priest? I don't think so. Do you think it was the Levite? I don't think so. Do you think it was the robbers? Definitely not the robbers. They were not good neighbors. I think the good neighbor was the Samaritan. The man that wasn't even from his area and took care of him and was a good neighbor. Jesus says, go and be that kind of neighbor. The one that was kind to him, the one who stayed with him, and the one that helped him. So children, what does this story teach us about being a neighbor? What kind of neighbor do you want to be? I hope that you're a good neighbor. Now, we're going to say a prayer, and I'm going to say it first, and I want you to say it after me. Okay your hands down and close your eyes and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for creating people in so many different ways. Everyone is different and help us to learn to love everyone and to be a good neighbor to everyone. 
In your name we pray. Amen. That was an awesome story, Mrs. Taylor. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Is everybody ready for our song? Let's sing today a song called Go Now in Peace. Some of you may know it, but it's really easy if you don't, so don't worry about it, okay? Here we go. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Great job, that was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing some time with us today. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye.